Hey guys, we got huge breaking news here in favor of the Second Amendment. The federal district court in the District of New Jersey has just entered a TRO declaring that it is likely that the plaintiffs, including the Second Amendment Foundation and the Firearms Policy Coalition, among others, uh, sued over the so-called sensitive places law, which, as you know, is a euphemism for government-mandated gun-free zones. And the federal district court in New Jersey just today issued an order saying that the plaintiffs are likely correct on a nice serpent versus Bruin. And all these various so-called sensitive places are not sensitive places at all based on the text and the history of the United States. And under the Second Amendment, they're unconstitutional, what New Jersey tried to do. So I'm going to read you some key language. Here's what the court specifically said. This is her conclusion, the judge's conclusion. Ready? Plaintiffs have demonstrated, and I apologize for this, the way I'm doing this. I'm in a car, as you can tell. Plaintiffs have demonstrated a probability of success on the merits of their Second Amendment challenge to the relevant provisions of the Sensitive Places Law, which which criminalizes carrying handguns in certain so so quote-unquote sensitive places, including public libraries, museums, Bars, restaurants, where any place where alcohol is served, entertainment facilities, private property, and uh, as exact, and also functional farms in vehicles. The state. This is what the federal. This is what the federal judge said. This is not me. This is the federal judge. The state may regulate conduct squarely protected by the Second Amendment only if only if supported by the historical tradition of firearm regulation in the United States. Here, plaintiffs, that's the Second Amendment uh, Foundation, the Firearms Policy Coalition and the like, and the other plaintiffs, here, plaintiffs have shown that the defendants, that's the state of New Jersey, the defendants will not be able to demonstrate a history of firearm regulation to support any of the challenge provisions, any of the gun control laws. The deprivation of plaintiffs' Second Amendment rights as the holders of valid concealed carry permits, permits, uh, from the state to conceal carry handguns constitutes irreparable injury, and neither the state nor the public has an interest in enforcing unconstitutional laws. This is a huge win. I should mention the names of the plaintiffs are Second Amendment Foundation, Firearms Policy Coalition, Coalition of New Jersey Firearms Owners, and the New Jersey Second Amendment Society, along with three individuals. Uh, I'm going to try to put a link to the opinion down below, but I'm in, I'm like on in a car here uh, driving, so I'm doing the best I can. Uh, I should note again that the challenges. Uh, it was a sensitive place challenge, libraries, museums, places where alcohol is served, entertainment facilities, uh, the default on private property, they need to get express permission before you can carry guns. All this has been declared likely unconstitutional by a federal district court judge in New Jersey. I repeat, in New Jersey. Next step is the parties have to submit uh, a briefing schedule for a preliminary injunction hearing, which will be more akin to a trial. But right now, this is very big news for the Second Amendment. Congratulations to our friends in New Jersey. The Second Amendment is alive. I know we're going to have some setbacks. It's the way battles and wars are always fought. The good news is we are winning a lot of these in places that you wouldn't historically expect, places like New York, places like New Jersey. And watch out, California. Here we come. Okay, hope you learned a little bit of something. If you haven't subscribed to the Four Boxes Diner Second Amendment channel, please do. We'll see you again soon here. Four Boxes Diner. Orders up. Table 2A.